In 1977, humanity launched a message in a bottle, not across the ocean, but across the vast expanse of space. This message was aboard the spacecrafts Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Among their equipment were two golden phonograph records. These weren't made of gold, but were of copper core, sheathed in the shining metal. These weren't ordinary records. They held no pop music tracks, but something more profound. They were the Voyager Golden Records, a testament to human existence, a hopeful plea for connection, and an affirmation of our tireless curiosity. Conceived by the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan, the Golden Record was no ordinary time capsule. It wasn't made for immediate consumption, but for future civilizations. On August 20th, 1977, Voyager 2 commenced its cosmic journey. Then, on September 5th, 1977, Voyager 1 began its journey into the unknown, bound to exit our solar system. Though the golden records were a gamble, a chance encounter waiting to happen in the vast cosmic ocean. These intricate records held a wealth of information, meticulously curated under Sagan's supervision. Their core was a set of 115 images, a panoramic slideshow for extraterrestrials unveiling Earth's beauty, from grand mountains and infinite seas to vibrant cities and diverse life forms. Animals both familiar and peculiar took the spotlight, a sprinting zebra, a leaping humpback whale, and a graceful monarch butterfly. Humans were also represented. Portraits mirrored the variety of our species, displaying an array of expressions and activities from a child's laughter to a scientist's focused stride. The Golden Record was more than just a visual spectacle. It offered an immersive oral encounter too. An array of greetings were inscribed onto the record in 55 Earth languages, a chorus of human voices welcoming any possible extraterrestrial listener. The record became a medium for Earth's rich sound palette. The grumble of thunder, the crash of waves, the exotic bird calls, and the trumpeting of elephants unveiled our planet's dynamism. Laughter, a universally comprehended sound, reverberated across the record, a testament to our capacity for joy. The most captivating aspect of the golden record, however, might be the music. Chosen by Sagan, it was a 90-minute blend of human musical creativity, ranging from Bach's complex Brandenburg Concerto No. 2 to the heartfelt melody of Blind Willie Johnson's Dark Was the Night, Cold Ground Was My Bed. The record served as a rich musical sampler. It was a message that transcended the literal, a plea for connection through the universal language of music. The Golden Record wasn't just a collection of sounds and images, it was a carefully crafted message. Imagine a helpful user manual etched onto the cover. A clear drawing of a phonograph record and its needle points out the correct starting position. Binary code, a language of zeros and ones, cleverly translates to 3.6 seconds the record's rotation speed. This unit is based on the hydrogen atom's fundamental transition, a universal constant. Another binary number reveals the record's playtime, roughly an hour. The cover unveils the secret code for interpreting the record's hidden pictures. A simple diagram showcases the signal pattern, marking the start of an image. Think of it like a TV screen but with vertical lines instead of horizontal ones. The duration of each line, around 8 milliseconds, is also provided. The next image demonstrates how these lines should be assembled vertically, with a slight offset for accurate picture reconstruction. Following this is a complete picture raster, revealing 512 vertical lines that make up a single image. And to ensure the aliens get it right, a simple picture, a circle, serves as a reference point for accurately reconstructing the image's proportions. Remember the map on the Pioneer spacecraft plaques? It reappears here. This pulsar map pinpoints our solar system's location relative to 14 pulsars, celestial objects with incredibly precise rotational periods. The drawing containing two circles in the lower right-hand corner is an image of the hydrogen atom in its two lowest states, with a connecting line and digit 1 to indicate that the time interval associated with the transition from one state to the other is to be used as the fundamental time scale, both for the time given on the cover and in the decoded pictures. A tiny surprise awaits, a speck of ultra-pure uranium-238 embedded in the cover. This radioactive element acts as a cosmic clock, 
Its steady decay into other elements offers a way to measure time. Since half of it decays in 4.51 billion years, alien recipients could analyze the remaining uranium and its daughter elements to determine how long it's been since the Voyager launch. This serves as a double check for the launch date encoded within the Pulsar map. The Golden Record cover is more than a mere illustration. It's a carefully crafted instruction manual, a map and a clock, all rolled into one. The Golden Record is a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. It's a beacon of hope, a message launched into the unknown in the grand pursuit of connection. As Voyager 1 hurtled past Pluto in 1990 and eventually exited our solar system in 2004, the Golden Record continued its silent journey. It's a poignant reminder that even in the vast emptiness of space, we're not alone in our yearning for understanding and connection. The Golden Record is a testament to the enduring human spirit, a hopeful whisper across the cosmos, a message that may one day bridge the gulf between worlds. If you enjoy hearing about the Voyager mission, subscribe and push that notification button to avoid missing out on Voyager updates. Take care of one another and remember to always be looking up.